everybody welcome to my channel and this is my special guest my bestie Stacy um, if you guys are wondering we are in Anaheim California and going to Disneyland, Disneyland tomorrow so I'm excited but um this is another tag video no one tagged me but I love beauty and I'm doing a beauty channel so um lately all the beauty gurus are doing their makeup story so I'm getting all my questions from, um, I think her name is Emily Noel. I could be wrong. I'm sorry. I'll put the link later. But she has 10 questions. So let's make it fast. Here we go. First question is, um, how old were you when you started wearing makeup? Want to go first? 14. 14? I think 14. Ninth grade. I think for me, probably after 6th grade, I remember getting like those... Um, little kid kids makeup you get at, a, at the toy section with the lip gloss and the pink eyeshadows and the ones from the flea market and I think my mom got it for me and I just played around and they looked at the horrible I always put bright pink on my eyeshadows I never tried anything yeah but I really <clears throat> didn't start wearing makeup makeup until the last two years I went through a phase in high school in ninth grade with I I was it mascara, lip gloss, but I didn't know how to do anything. I think I looked really bad. What did you do? Anything in high school? I only wear lip liner oh. and lip gloss mm -hmm. and eyeshadow. Oh. Yeah, I, I didn't do much of the eyeshadow in ninth grade. It was, I know I did lipstick and then I went to a lip gloss phase. I think like, <clears throat> and lip liner. I liner. think like yeah. probably ninth grade, it's like the breaking point where, you know, like when you're in um, middle school, nobody really want to look at you, whatever. And when you get to high school, that's when you want yeah, to be noticed. Yeah, the seniors, but... the seniors, I think. Probably. And I stopped using makeup after that. I didn't wear any makeup. So yeah, I guess ninth grade-ish. And then now, the last two years, we start wearing makeup, like right now. So know, um, right. we're weird. <laughs> I, only off once and on, <laughs> yeah, we're like once in a blue moon, but we, we like makeup. Um, number two, how did you get into makeup? I swear, I think it is YouTube. Watching all you gurus out there having all these great cosmetic brand names and you know showing your techniques and stuff, and it makes me go wow. And it's like it sucks I can't do it, even though I try. It can never be that pretty, but you know, I do my own thing and so does she. So as long as we like what we do and we think we look pretty, then that's all Just that matters. Just being a typical girl. Yeah, and you know, I love it's colors. I love colors and playing around and messing up and looking ugly and then realizing that it doesn't look good and then start you, you go from there and start over. Yeah. Um, number three, what are some of your favorite brands? I don't have any. I don't put makeup on. My bestie is special. I, I'm not that great, but um, <clears throat> Mac. I have a few Mac. When I first bought high end products, I did get Mac for the first year, which was a couple years ago. And I still have the same ones, and I have not bought any more shadows since like four years ago. Y yeah, four years ago. It's just too expensive for me. Um, So I own like what? Like four or five eyeshadows from four years ago. And. Mac is great. It's just really expensive. I have a few Urban Decay. I have like three things. Um, my but my favorite that I can personally afford is N Y X. Um, high thing is probably like thirty bucks, but you know they have five dollar things, ten dollar things, six dollar things, three dollar things. That. Yes, you do. I saw your bag. But I, for me, N Y X, and you know I have lots of um, drugstore products. I like Wet n Wild. You know people don't give those drugstore a chance because of the name, but. If you give it a try, it's really good, and for beginners, I think it's great. Yes. Um, what were we? <clears throat> what does makeup mean to you? What does makeup mean to you? Makeup, what it means to me is beauty. Yeah, beauty. What about you? Makeup. Makeup is everything. Makeup yeah. shouldn't make me who I am, but like I said, I like colors. Um... And a lot of girls say it makes you feel more confident. It definitely does. I know makeup doesn't solve anything. It just enhances your face, your features. And, you know, none of us are perfect. But with that little, you know, concealer, with that little lipstick, it just makes us look so much better and prettier. And if that's what it takes to make us feel better, then hey. But not to the point to say, like, 
I need False to wear makeup all the time. Because we go out with makeup like almost every day without makeup. And so we do go without makeup also. Yeah. So. And the thing is, when we put makeup on, it's like treating ourselves like we deserve. We work our asses off yeah, dealing mean, with BS from people like almost every we day. we don't even need to deal with. Yeah, yeah, so it makes us feel good. It makes us feel pretty. It makes us feel sexy. We want to appreciate ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. some, I guess some people just don't want to appreciate us. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so that's what makeup should. means. Yeah. Um, number five, if you could wear four products on your face, what would they be? Wow. It's nameless for me. I, I have no idea. Well, not I'm necessarily not. name. Um, since I don't wear makeup every day to work, like once in a blue moon, um, got four products. I think that's a weird question. Like a name, name brand? Um, well, like four products? Like what kind of stuff? Well, products like, like four things. Know. Four things. Um, I can oh, live. Oh, you mean like like I, stuff you use on your face or your eyes? Okay, I can live without foundation. Oh, okay. The only time I use foundation is when I go out clubbing and I need to be look good, you know. But basically, you know, I can I use my lip gloss. I can use my mascara, my eyeshadow, um, my blush. Is that four things? Lip gloss, I think that's eyeshadow. Too many. Eyeshadow, blush, and mascara. Four things. There you go. Four products. What, what do I? I usually use lip gloss. Yeah, four things that you you can use. Foundation, yeah. mascara, and eyeshadow. Yeah. You don't use foundation. You use bare minerals. Isn't that the same? That is powder. Bare mineral. The That's powder. Foundation okay, is powder. Well, I could be powder. wrong. It's natural. It's I can't it's use that it's one. It's foundation, but it's powder foundation. See? Oh, I don't know. See, we don't know nothing. You, you know. Don't. Um, <laughs> number six, what's your favorite thing about makeup? Now, I think that question is kind of like, what does makeup mean to you? My favorite thing about makeup, like I said, it's the color, so many variety. It's like friends, so many people you can hang out with, so many ideas. And when you look at that palette, you know, it's like, oh, what did it do to you? The, the what can makeup? I do with this? It's art. It's expressing yourself as an individual. And it. It, it sounds corny, but you know, it's like. That's, that's our weekend. I mean, it's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost now. <laughs> Sidetracked all of a sudden. This is not political, this is makeup. Um, number seven. What do you think about drugstores, makeup versus high end makeup? I'm iffy on both. I mean, if you have the money, the luxury to get the high end makeup, you go for it. But um, I don't know the difference. Yeah, she doesn't. I'm the only thing I have that a lot of people might use is the bare mineral. That's it. Yeah, I, I like that, that too, but it didn't work for me. Um, if I get super, super desperate, then I will get that high quality brand. But I don't have much. The only thing I would use for high brand is my foundation, which, you know, the drugstore ones I've tried doesn't have much coverage, so I would pay high end on it. But drugstore, I have most drugstore stuff like for eyeshadows, lip gloss, blush. Those I don't care much for. Even mascara, I love drugstore products. The highest drugstore product that I have is probably seven bucks or ten bucks. So um, they're just the same. And a lot of people say, you know, with any kind of products, you know, food, makeup, clothes, whatever, the price you pay for is the brand name. When you think about it, it's pretty much almost the same quality. You know, it's it's just that name tag that makes it more expensive. So. Don't forget about the little people at the drugstore. You know, they're just as good, I think. And I'm using cheap makeup right now, and I think we look beautiful. Yeah, yeah no high-end stuff here. No MAC, no... Yeah. Um, where are we? Number eight. What is one tip of advice you can give to a beginner? A beginner. Okay, beginner. okay since my bestie is kind of special... Um, I'm no pro at all. I still make mistakes. I can like think I look good, but I can look like a ghost to some just other person. Just try to look natural. Yeah. That's all. Just don't go don't too overdo far. It. Don't yeah. overdo it because you might see that person look good and bright blue and you try it on. No, don't even try, you know. Yeah. I believe you should start with like some kind of neutral colors to yeah. to begin with. And then you can gradually start with the scary colors. Because that's how I did I was scared of colors. I would never go on pink like this. I was a brown and cream girl. Now I'm starting a little bit and, you know, being more confident. But 
And if you fail, just keep trying, keep practicing, but don't start with bold, just, you know, a little dab there, a little lip gloss. Yeah, just don't overdo it, because yeah. some people, they look so much better natural. Than yeah, kind of all that heavy boxing. stuff. You know you're pretty already, you don't need to be putting on any kind of makeup. Mm -hmm. Natural just, is good. Just, you know, a little bit, just make it natural, that's yeah. all, don't overdo it. But then as long as you, you know, you're confident and stuff, you know, don't let the makeup take over you. You know, I know some people out there love their makeup. Mm -hmm. I shall not say. But um, <laughs> who am I to judge? Oh, that's overdoing it, though. Because I get obsessed sometimes myself, too. Yeah, I but guess. It's hard. Political again, political. Don't be getting on that subject. Oh, okay. So, where are we number nine? What is one makeup trend that you never understood? Oh, I have one. You go first. Oh, I don't. Really? Back in the day or something that you can't stand? Like, like, come uh, on, come on. Uh, it's so annoying. I think oh. my mom will slap me. <laughs> you mean like the, oh, I don't, I don't know. What's the question again? <laughs> what is oh. the one makeup trend you never understand? Well, this is old school. I don't know if people still do this, but, and you still sell at the store. What's up with the black lip liner? <laughs> I was going to say that. I know it was back. Well, we we were born like, in eighth grade, I, I like so that the black was the lip thing. Liner and then you put your, I like the, the lip pink gloss. lip gloss too, and it accentuates your lips. That was uh, just oh, kind of crazy. The, like the white white foundation around. Your oh, face. the white foundation. It's like you can't get it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm can't sorry to it. diss my mother, but she keeps using foundation that's really light and and white on her skin, and she thinks it matches. And I think she still does it like that. I don't know what the deal is. I can't seem to explain to her. And I still see people with like really white foundation on them. I mean, I think you should seek a professional. Either that or your family is lying to you. She, she still loves my mommy. Me. I shall explain to her when I see her again. She gets it from me. Okay. Um, what do you think about the beauty community on YouTube? I think it's great. I feel left out. I feel weird sometimes because I know deep inside I can never be as Pretty. professional as them. But mm -hmm. I know they're just the same as me and any other human being. It's just, I guess they practice and, you know, they have the money to get the high-end products. And, yeah. <laughs> but it's nice that I get bored and I can watch and learn. Even though I can never do the exact same thing, you guys give me a little bit idea and I can give my own special touch to my own makeup knowledge. So, yeah. But there's some out there who really scares me. They're really popular, but it's like their makeup is really, really thick and I think that's <laughs> ugly and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will, won't make it thick next time then. <laughs> but the other half of the people, yay for your sharing your ideas and thoughts and thank you for thinking about the people that can't afford high-end products and offering like drugstore stuff, you know, because, you know, yeah, so mm, it's good. Might be the best. Yeah, so that's it for our all makeup story questions, whatever you want to call it. And I know we're kind of weird and don't know stuff and don't know what we're talking about, but, um, but whatever. Whatever. Makeup is to make it makes us happy, it makes us ugly, it makes us bitchy, but yeah, <laughs> rate, comment, subscribe. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Peace and love.